Hi everybody and welcome to our paperclip lab. In this lab you're going to be able to tell me um, how many atoms of zinc are on a paperclip. Now just to give you a little background on paperclips and other things like them, paperclips are what are known as galvanized. So what does that mean? Well paperclips are mainly made of iron. Um, iron is durable and it bends the way that they want it to. It's great but the problem with iron is that it rusts which means that it reacts with oxygen. Um, so they don't, you don't want rusty paper clips, you want nice smooth paper clips. So what they do is they actually coat these paper clips um, with a very thin layer of zinc. Okay, zinc is a great metal, it has the same silvery color as the metal silver, um, and it does not rust. All right, so that's what they do. If you've ever heard of galvanized nails, same thing. So your job is to be able to tell me the number of atoms of zinc in a sample of paper clips. Now obviously we can't count those. Atoms are too small. But we can mass them and then use the mole, all right, to figure out how many actual atoms. All right. So what you're going to do, first you're going to do the pre-lab questions. All right. So just a little clarification on number three. What would be the mass in grams of 25 atoms of silver. So make sure you think about that. 25 atoms is not a lot. So the mass in grams should be a pretty small number. All right, then you're gonna go on ahead and uh, continue watching this video. Maurice is gonna go through trial one with you and you're going to record the data. Then I give you the data for trials two and three. You're gonna average those and then do those calculations. As always, make sure that you are labeling, showing all of your work, and you must use factor label for this. All right, good luck everybody. Hello, welcome to our lab. First, you mass the paper clips. Next, we'll take the paper clips and put them in here. In the beaker. In the beaker. Make sure not to lose any paper clips. Do we have them all? Mm hmm All right. Next, put the acid so it totally covers the paper clips. What do you observe, Maurice? I observe bubbles forming on the paper clips. All right. Production of bubbles is a sign of a chemical reaction. These particular bubbles are hydrogen gas. See the gas forming now. All right. Give it a gentle swirl. And make sure all those paper clips, a little bit more, all those paper clips come into contact with the acid. After about two minutes, the bubbles stop, and you can see that the paper clips are not as shiny as they used to be. All right, now we're going to decant the acid, which means to carefully pour the acid out. Don't lose any paper clips. Pour some water. 
We're gonna add water. Swirl. And you're gonna add water just to make sure all the acid is gone. Do that at least one more time. At this point, we are pretty confident that the acid is gone, but we've saved all of our paper clips. And we're now going to try and get as much liquid off as possible. There you go. And now we're going to pour these onto a paper towel. And we really need to make sure that these dry. And you, you can use your hand now, it's all water. Yeah. There you go. All right, and we're gonna let we're gonna dry these really, really well and then mask them again. Now that they're dry, it's time to mask the paper clips. Few. Make sure you get all the paper clips back on. And again, notice the dull appearance of the paper clips compared to how they were. And that is the mass of the iron core.